saw last game. We're just focusing on how we're going to go out there and play and just have fun doing it. Anything I would really do is for them. I love the team. Like, without them, I wouldn't be here. The corner and touchdown! Touchdown on a diving effort, George Pickett. Zeus starts straight, bounces out left. He's gone, he's gone, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Seniors didn't get an opportunity to have a final home game. They'll get an opportunity to play in front of a lot of backyard in Atlanta and we're going to take full advantage of and their opportunity. It's just been crazy. So for us to, you know, have the opportunity to play a new season, you know, you know, some of my brothers that, you know, I might not ever play ball again. We, I'd love to play with this team forever. This is the last opportunity to play with this whole team. This year's team is not going to be the same next year. So we just got to enjoy the guys who are here now. Pressure for the back. Aziz Ojolari. Aziz with the squeeze. Daniels in the pocket. Plenty of time. Pulls it down. Now throws it. Caught by Cook over the middle. He's got running room. End zone. Yeah, he got there as he's being hit. I'm just focused on giving Cincinnati the best we have. Cincinnati is a great team. It's going to be a great challenge for us to finish out the year well. Our opportunity to play another game against a top 10 opponent. Their record is one of the top five in all of college football. We're going to face a lot of challenges. They got a very balanced offense. We got to attack them in all facets of the game and be able to take away what they do well. We certainly know what our point of view is. Cincinnati will kick it off. As you heard a few moments ago, they won the toss. They deferred to the second half. So it'll be uh, Cole Smith to kick it away. He was the hero from last week, or uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, when they won the AAC championship with the walk-off 34-yard field goal to win it over Tulsa. As we watch it from the Piedmont Healthcare radio booth here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Kiaris Jackson is the deep man for Georgia, and we are underway here in Atlanta in the Peach Bowl 2021. Kickoff taken on the goal line by Kiaris. Straight ahead return to the 15. Bounces a little bit to his right and bumped at the 17 and down around the 18-yard line. That's where Cincinnati will make the tackle. Man in motion to the near side is McIntosh. Play fake Daniels. Rolls out right. Hits the tight end Fitzpatrick at the 25, and he's flipped up in the air at the 30-yard line, maybe the 29 by Derek Forrest. With their linebackers right now. Kenny McIntosh in the backfield, a fake toss to the left, go around and throw it to the big tight end to the right, and that's uh, Washington being undercut at the 32 for the Bearcats, but they only bring four. Daniels deep ball down the middle to the tight end, overthrown, a little contact at the Cincinnati 45, trying to get it to John Fitzpatrick. Georgia showing blitz, we bring some pressure. Ritter rolls out to his left. Now he's going to tuck it and run, and not sure if he got to the first down or not. He did not, according to the spot. And back in there with him is Kendall Milton, and Milton will receive the pass in the right flat, and there he goes up the sideline across the 20, the 25, the 30, and it's good to have Kendall Milton back in the lineup up to the 32-yard line. Daniels in the shotgun, takes the snap. McIntosh gets the handoff now. Kenny Mack across the 35, and Hit at the 37 and falls to the turf there. We go with an empty set here. Daniels stands in the pocket, throws. It's off the hands of Pickens. Short pass at the 40. They're all in red. Black helmets moving to our right. Ritter with a play fake. And then he fakes the pass and gets rid of the defender. Adam Anderson chased the, the pass fake. And Ritter <laughs> kept the ball and went the other way. The Georgia 45. He'll throw from the logo. Across the middle. Hits his target. Tumbling to the turf is Young, Michael Young. Extensive look at it. Ritter will hand it off, and we will eat him up at the 30-yard line. Jerome Ford, redshirt freshman, transfer from Alabama. They snap it to Ritter in the shotgun. He'll hand it off to Ford, sweeps around to the left, and we meet him at the 30 at the sideline. Knock him into the Bearcat bench. Christopher Smith and N'Kobe Dean. They're Snap to Ritter in an empty set. He's feeling the pressure. He'll throw it. It's caught up high on the sideline, and I believe he's got the first down. Yeah, he caught it at the 19-yard line. Moving to our right, Ritter with time. Throws, caught at the 8 to the 5. Into the end zone is Pierce for the touchdown. Now just too easy there. Dogs drop back into a cover 2 zone look. Snap to Daniels, fakes the toss to the right, going to stand in the pocket and throw a deep ball. He's got Pickens breaking open, and a diving effort. Did he catch it? Oh, my gosh. He caught it. He left his feet, dove towards the end zone, and caught it flying in the air at the 25. JT Daniels let it rip. I didn't think there was any way Pickens was going to get to that thing, but stretch that huge frame out and somehow able to hold on to it. 51 yards. We give it to Zeus. He spins out to the left. 
knocked off his feet but puts his hand on the turf and stays upright and keeps driving for more yards before he's finally tackled out of bounds on the near sideline at where short of the 10 yard line wow back to back terrific plays for georgia to immediately get into the massey ferguson red zone he'll certainly snap his high to daniels he pulls it down throws it towards the end zone oh he got picked off in the end zone and the ball is stripped and fumbled cincinnati's gonna fall on it in the end zone again and let's see him sort this out. Daniels threw it in the end zone. Cincinnati intercepted it. Here's the referee. The field. It's an interception in the end zone, followed by a fumble from the end zone into the field of play. The ball was subsequently recovered by the defense. The defender's momentum took him into the end zone from the one-yard line. The ball will be placed at the one-yard line. First down, Cincinnati. Now Ritter back in the end zone in the shotgun, takes a slow snap, rolls to his right, just fires it off one leg, and Cincinnati on third down now will take it and move the pocket with Ritter. He'll throw on the run again from the end zone and misses target at the 10-yard line with Ferton in motion across the formation to the right. Lines up in the slot, Daniels in the shotgun, throws it over the middle, caught by the big tight end, Washington, breaks one tackle at the 30, stays on his feet to the 20, breaks another tackle, spinning and driving all the way down to the 11-yard line. Darnell Washington, they couldn't get him down. Great delivery there by JT Daniels, that ball's thrown on time, and then you get Darnell Washington on that six foot seven frame rumbling down the field. Two receivers right, three to the left for Daniels. Stands in the pocket, throws it hard to the end zone, reaching up high. Pickens crashes down over the goal line for the touchdown. His defender fell down about a yard deep in the end zone. That left George. All he had to do was make the catch and cross the goal line, and he did that falling down. It was a 16 yard touchdown catch by George Pickens. That's his sixth touchdown reception of the season. And for Daniels, it is his 10th touchdown throw as the dogs have tied it up. That Pickens touchdown catch. Uh, an integral part of our broadcast team today and not having Chuck as Ritter will drop back on first and 10 at the 25 or uh, at the 23-yard uh, line. On Ritter in the shotgun, all in red. Stands in the pocket, will throw and caught and then dropped on the tackle around the 30-yard line, trying to hit Trey Tucker and Latavius Brini right there with him in coverage. Now in five for the dogs. Play is uh, the ball is snapped and they throw it to the big tight end, Washington, and they hit him low and he crashes down to the ground pretty hard. Cincinnati on their own 42. Ritter going to fake it and keep it and slide and on the logo and we hit him as he was going down and now they throw a late flag score second quarter Bearcats to run it with Ford he spins out of a tackle in the backfield rolls to the right and will hit him around the 35 yard line he'll hand it off straight ahead Ford running down to the 30 the redshirt freshman from Tampa the transfer from Alabama Second down and three for the Bearcats. Pressure on Ritter. He dumps it off in the direction of the pressure to the big tight end, Wiley. And Wiley, with his first catch of the day, gets to the sideline and down to around the 20-yard line. Took so long to develop. That's why the offensive lineman got downfield. First and 15 for the Bearcats. Ritter rolls to the right, throws his with the receiver running in the same direction, and that pass is broken up at the 20. But Third and seven, they got eight on that last play. Ritter now forced out of the pocket with an upfield rush, flush him out to the right. He's looking, he's looking, and now he's just gonna throw it in the third row of seats. Dogs of, of bringing others in pursuit to keep Ritter from running the football down the field. 33 yard field goal is no good. Georgia blocked it at the line of scrimmage. We got a piece of it. Who was it, was it Big Carter? No, it was Davis maybe, the way Jordan Davis was reacting. Jordan Davis got a piece of that kick and blocked the field goal. It's no good. To catch up with Coach Smart at the end of the half. Georgia with the ball after the blocked kick. Play fake. Daniels going deep ball. He's got a man caught. And Arian Smith at the 30-yard line tackled. Where? Around the 21 or so. Arian Smith got deep. And they'll spot the ball back at the 25-yard line instead of the 21. What a great play call there by Coach Munkin. Shifts McIntosh. Snap to Daniels. He'll throw it to Kenny Mack in the left flat. Caught at the 40. Makes a man miss at the 33. To the 30, to the 25, to the 20. And wrapped up around the 16 or 17-yard line. Nice run after the catch by Kenny McIntosh. Plenty of room to run. 
from the 17th. Second down, we'll hand it off. We won't get the Scanna Energy first down on this play as McIntosh is hit in the backfield and driven back. Massey Ferguson red zone on the 20. Daniels to throw, play fake, or a pump fake rather. He pulls it down, throws it to the end zone, overshoots his receiver. Jack Podlesny with a 37-yard field goal try. There's the snap, the hold, and the kick, and it is good for Cincinnati. Was third and inches. Ritter drops back in the shotgun. Going to throw a deep ball far sideline. Caught shy of midfield and then tumbled down and tackled in Georgia territory around the 45. Michael Young. They've got the football on the Georgia 35. Ritter, time to throw. And he hits his target. The big tight end crossing route on the near sideline. Caught at the 22. And Cincinnati stays put. Snap to Ritter in the shotgun. Looks to the right, looks to the left. Now scrambles. We chase. He's backing up. He's all the way back at his 35. Now he's going to run it the other direction. Throw on the run. Caught inside the five by Ford. And Ford tackled. And then flags fly. Somebody got blown up on the near sideline. Get down after the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, offense number 55. The penalty is 15 yards from the same spot. It will be first and 10. Pierce caught a 14-yard pass for Cincinnati the for their only review, score. There was targeting on the play. Number 55 is disqualified. Man in motion to the left side for Cincinnati. Ritter drops back. He's got plenty of time. Not feeling pressure. Now he does as he rolls to the right. We're still in pursuit. He's moving all over the place. Going to chunk it in the end zone towards the end zone. And they say touchdown Wiley. He came out of the end zone. Ended up on the one yard line. But apparently the ball cost the gro crossed the goal line. Stop in this first series in the second half. And that looks like what they will do here is they go into the safety protection. Take the uh, snap and take a knee and run out the final six seconds of the half. Cincinnati offense. Ritter will throw to the left side and we blow up the play. They tried to screen out to the left on the motion man and they hit Montgomery. Motion is the tight end this time. He lines up at a wing to the right and then they run it with Ford. Ford's got a big hole across the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. We're chasing. He's running 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. Boy, just like that, it was a read option. We'll try it here from the six with Kenny McIntosh. Straight ahead run quickly across the 10, 15. Tripped up there and keeps his feet up to about the 18. Fake to Kenny Mack. Daniel sets up, throws, deep ball going down the middle. Double coverage there for Pickens, and it's intercepted. And a flag. A flag. Pickens knocked to the turf. Cincinnati intercepted it with Brian Cook. Pass to Ferris. Chase fans over nine. 15 yard penalty. First down was on Bush, the nickelback, and Cook intercepted the ball but negated on the interference penalty. Georgia will run it with Kendall Milton swinging around right tackle, and Daniels up under center. Overloaded line to the right. Pitch it out to White, and Zamir gets the first down. Then he's hit at the 44-yard line into the left. Snap from Erickson. Daniels drops back in the shotgun. Going to throw a deep ball again. He's got Arian Smith, and incomplete inside the five. He throw it, and he's going to outrun it. We're going to toss it over to Zamir White out to the right. Short side of the field. He fumbled the football. The ball is going to be recovered. No, that was, I thought he fumbled it. That was still Zamir fighting through the crowd. I thought they were chasing the ball. 43 and a half. Daniels avoids the rush. One time steps up. Now he gets the second hit, and his helmet comes off back at the 50. But they haven't uh, explained that. After the play, the sportsman like conduct. One on each team, offense number one, defense number nine. That is both players first on sportsmanlike conduct foul. The penalties cancel. For Cincinnati. And Stetson Bennett will come in for this play as uh, Daniels has to leave. Ash moving left, snap to Bennett, drops back. In the pocket, looks, throws, and caught down on one knee. The big tight end Fitzpatrick, but not enough for the first down. He McIntosh, who curls around the quarterback in motion, back to the near side. Daniel sets up to throw. He will throw as he's being pressured. And caught, I think, Pickens sliding down at the 19. George Pickens, yeah, that's a catch. Pickens. Boy, what composure by JT Daniels as well. Had all kinds of heat on him. Somehow able to loft that ball over the second level of defenders while he's getting hammered and taken to the ground. 
19 yards on the gain for Georgia as the dogs jump into the Massey Ferguson red zone again inside the Cincinnati 20 Daniels to throw spins away from one man ducks under another boy he's just being produced pursued all over the place and he's hit at the 23 the ball comes out there's a pile Georgia get it back Daniels didn't get it back Cincinnati did dogs have thrown an interception and fumbled and Ritter now will stand back in the pocket pump fake and the pocket collapses on him and will sack him back at the 16 or 17 running back out of the backfield to the near side Ritter in trouble went down to a knee and then we hit him Anderson and Smith with the sack he may have fallen down anyway before we even got to him I don't know if his knee touched back Daniels in the shotgun stands in the pocket wants to go deep far uh, near sideline and Pickens is the target runs out of room out of bounds incomplete eyes on Cincinnati so a free play JT Daniels saw it took a shot defense number 21 five yard penalty still second down keep the streak going or the series going actually bring a man in motion in tight that's Jackson handed off to Zamir Whitey hops his way to the 25 yard line going to be close to a first down but might be a little bit short white in the backfield Jackson in motion play fake Daniels will throw to Kiaris caught at the 22 and then blown up and the ball comes out and it's incomplete and now they go Wildcat or Bearcat <laughs> they send the quarterback out into the slot to the near side now flags come flying all over the place as they snap the football ball start offense number 51 five yard penalty third down they shift the man in motion to the left Ritter takes the snap rolls out of the pocket they were holding Carter no call and Ritter will just dump it over the sidelines and throw it towards the seats again aggressive against the run game second and nine from the 30 for the dogs Daniels bouncing now will just throw it out of bounds on the far side he had white off to his right in the flat but the dogs just one for seven on third down this afternoon Daniels in the pocket throws to the far sideline through the hands and incomplete track field with Ritter play fake to Ford Ritter going to keep it and roll to the right the Kobe Dean in hot pursuit and Ritter will just throw it out of bounds Ritter claps his hands gets the football hands it off to Ford in the backfield a little misdirection Ritter was going to the right and Ford came back across him up to their percentage today on third down Ritter pocket closing ball knocked loose it's on the turf nobody knew where it was for a second as Oh, Jalari stripped him from behind, coming around on the wide side. Georgia's got the football at the Cincinnati 25. Adam Anderson recovered the loose ball. Like they were on top of it, and somehow Adam Anderson comes away with it. First turnover by Cincinnati today. Dogs in prime scoring position now. This is the quarterback, Adam uh, Warren Erickson, with the snap. Play fake McIntosh sets up the throw. Pressure from the edges, dumps it off. He's got the tight end. Fitzpatrick 20, 15, 10, hit at the knees at the nine and flipped up in the air. Same time here. Daniels under center. They toss it to Zeus. He bobbles it a little bit, finds the handle, and finds the end zone. Sideline inside the pylon, touchdown. Boy, way to take advantage of the turnover. Dogs immediately into the end zone and fight their way back into this football game. To make it 21 to 16. As that touchdown is brought to you by Engineered Solutions of Georgia, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. Stetson Bennett in with Daniels. They play faked to Bennett on the end around, throw it into the end zone. Daniels off the back foot, trying to go to the tight end, I think. One back in the backfield. Everybody in tight on the near side. Ritter drops the snap, picks it up. He stretched, reached to pick it up, and then he falls down at the 28-yard line as Georgia had black shirts around him. Find their way back into this football game. Here's James Smith, going to run, going to run, going to run, going to keep running. He's uh, going to keep it and get the first down. He just ran diagonally all the way to the far sideline. Georgia never challenged him. Eddie. Balls on their own 33. Ritter to throw. Pulls it down. Now being chased. Here comes Davis from behind. Runs to the near sideline. Runs out of space. Quay Walker in his face to make the hit. Ritter takes the snap in the shotgun. Bounces in the pocket. Dumps it off to his receiver Jackson on a crossing route to the left sideline. And he is hit almost immediately. 
Third down, 15 for the Bearcats. Ritter drops back, rolls to the left uh, side, sets up and throws a deep ball on the sideline. It's broken up in Georgia territory around the 40, right on the sideline, Tyson Campbell. This is the play by Tyson Campbell to break it up at the Georgia 40. Boy, great coverage right there by Tyson. Good job by the defensive front, getting pressure on Ritter, forcing him out of the pocket as well. Another strong stance starting to take over. Need the offensive line to do the same. Here's JT Daniels on a screen to Jackson out to the left. He's got running room across the 40, 50. They're chasing into uh, Bearcat territory. They grab him up around the collar of uh, his shoulder pads. Trail by five here in the fourth quarter. Play fake to Milton. Daniels wants to throw. He'll put it in the air. Wide open at the 19. The dogs make the catch. Pickens, he one-hands it, tries to hurdle a man. They flip him up in the air around the 10 or the 11. Field. Here comes pressure. Daniels rolls out right, looking, sets up, throws. Uh, the ball just kind of got knocked up in the air as he was being hit from behind, and it won in the 22 for about a 32-yard try. There's the snap and the hold. The kick is in the air, and it is good. Jack Podlesny with another All-State good hands field goal. Protecting you has no offseason. You work on the far hash, moving left, play fake. Ritter wants to throw a screen near side. We blow it up, absolutely blow it up. They complete the pass to Jackson on the near side. Latavius Brini all in his business and dropping him back at the 22-yard line. He actually ended up on the 20. They spotted up at the 22. Let's get anything going on the ground. Third and two, Cincinnati. Defensive line shifts, and they jump again. I'll start. Offense number 51, five-yard penalty. Third down. Now from the 28, Ritter back to pass. He's being chased out of the pocket, and we get his legs. Uh, Aziz Ojolari squeezed him shut, tripped him up just enough back at the 15-yard line. A sack and a loss back to the 16. Fourth down and a mile now for Cincinnati. As to Going to pass it on first down. Daniels, deep ball. Oh, he's got a man breaking open near sideline. Burton can't see it, and it lands behind him and to the right. There, I'm not sure if he would have been able to locate and catch the football anyway. Daniels throws a shorter route to Pickens. He catches it at the 41, spins around once, still upright, and then they get him on the second spin. They 21 to 10, and George has been creeping back ever since. JT Daniels forced out of the pocket, throws, caught on the far side to Kenny McIntosh at the 40, made one man miss, got to the 43-yard line, and then Cincinnati with red shirts converges on him and drives him back. They've gone out of bounds the last two times, and the clock hasn't stopped. Now they'll run it straight ahead here. Into the line of scrimmage, stopped at the 30-yard line. Maybe a one-yard loss on the play. Lines up at the wing to the right. Ritter's going to play fake. Now throw, and it's caught by the tight end at the 35. Tackled at the 40. Cincinnati. Snap to Ritter. Rolls to the right. Looks downfield. Throws it downfield, and it's batted up in the air and batted away incomplete. They were trying to go downfield to Young, and Georgia's Tyreek Stevenson chasing the offensive player batted the ball up in the air. Two receivers out wide to the left for Georgia. Daniels brings one of them in in motion. Will throw to the near side. Caught by Pickens on the near sideline around the 35. Second down and six. Offense ready to go. Daniels in the pocket. Steps up. Throws it over the middle. And it's caught on a little bit of a crossing route by the Dogs. And tackled shy of midfield again. 50 seconds. 49 seconds. First and 10 Georgia. Daniels. Steps up in the pocket, looks, throws it over the middle, caught at the 49, uh, 45 yard line on 35 seconds. They reset the sticks. We're at the 40 of Cincinnati. Daniels to throw it near sideline, tight end, undercut. They keep him in bounds. Clock still running. Fitzpatrick caught it around the 35 yard line. 23, 22 seconds, 21. They spot it on the 36. It's second and six, Georgia. Dogs trying to move into field goal position and now Cincinnati with a player down, is that right? Daniels in the shotgun, takes the snap. Quick throw to the near sideline, through the hands of the intended target. On in six, 12 seconds to go from the 36. Daniels, quick throw, he's got Burton breaking open, incomplete at the nine. 53 and a half yard drive, near hash, kick right, snap, hold, kick is away, it's reaching, and it is good, 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 hot pot. All right, Hot Pod, he got it, he got it. And the Dogs have a 22-21 lead with two seconds remaining. 
53-yarder. Flags are all over the field because the bench erupted. Everybody went on the field. We've got state patrolmen on the field. We've got managers and trainers and every player from the bench. Wow. And you're right, everybody erupted there. We, we've seen this situation before where we're late in football games and anything can still happen, but the dogs find a way to fight and claw and somehow inch their way back into the lead. Pod has tied the Peach Bowl record with the longest field goal. We're getting good at that. We own the Rose Bowl record with Hot Rod. Now Hot Pod ties the record here at the Peach Bowl. Belt. All right, Ritter's in the end zone. On the two, Ritter drops back. Pressure and a second of safety. How's that for an ending? Happy New Year, Bulldogs. Aziz Ojolari adds two more to the count. And your final, Georgia winner, 24-21. And now the dogs erupt and rightfully just mobbing Aziz Ojolari in the back of the end zone. The entire Georgia team chasing after him. What a finish. A 53-yard bowl record matching field goal by Jack Podlesny for the lead and then a sack and a safety to end it. 24-21. For what a football game and give Cincinnati credit. They came in here with a chip on their shoulder. They were ready to play right from the jump. An undefeated season that the dogs just spoiled in unbelievable fashion. Really hadn't done anything to sustain any kind of offense in this ball game, Z. And then the defense raised its head in the second half and really controlled Cincinnati after that long touchdown run. And then Georgia pecked away a little bit, inched a little bit closer here, a little bit closer there, and set it itself up for an opportunity to win the game. And that's what they did. And your final here in the Peach Bowl is 24 to 21. The yards were tough to come by in the first and second half. How'd you change the momentum in this game? Well, I thought the guys at halftime really responded to some adversity. Um, defense sparked us. This guy right here sparked us. When he started getting sacks, Offense started scoring. Momentum is a powerful thing. And what has been the longest, hardest football season ever? What does it feel like to stand here as the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl champions? It's an honor for me to be at the University of Georgia and be with these men. These guys gave up 28 weeks of wearing a mask, didn't things brought it up their nose, and they did it over and over, and they did it right, and they never quit today. One more thing before I let you celebrate. So much was made in this game about what Cincinnati had to play for, but based on the celebration and the reaction of, you guys, of your players, there was a lot to play for for you too. So what were you playing for today? Playing for our team. We play for each other. We play for the greatest university in the world, University of Georgia. And everybody here knows it. How about them dogs? How about the guys that made big plays that came back out to play in the game? This guy, Tyson Campbell. A lot of guys play with great effort. I appreciate it, Kirby. Thank you.